Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 57. Hada. Hada. The Korean word hada is a verb which means to do. Again, hada means to do. How do we write hada in Hangul? This is composed of two syllables. For the first syllable ha, we need to draw a he character and an a character. For the second syllable da, we need to draw a digit character followed by an a character. Now let's try looking at this example. It says kong bu heo. Again, kong bu heo. In English, this is translated as I study. So this sentence could be subdivided into two. Kong bu is a noun for studies and heo is the present tense form of hada, which means I do. How is hada transformed into heo? So initially we have hada, this is our root verb, and then we will have to remove da, so now we're left with ha. And we'll need to decide what suffix will be added. And as you can see, the supposed suffix is heo. So ha plus heo becomes heo, and that is the present tense form of hada. Again, hada is our root verb, and heo is the present tense form of hada. Here are some more information about kongbu heo. Kongbu is the term for study or studies. So when we say kongbu hada, it's the act of studying. And when we say kongbu heo, it's the present action of studying. And as you can see, we are able to create a verb kongbu hada out of kongbu and hada. And this is actually a common pattern on the Korean language. Some nouns can be transformed into a verb by just adding hada to it. And looking back to this example presented a while ago, we already know by now that kongpu heyo means I study, where it pertains to the present action of studying. And with that, you've just learned hata. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, our previous 10 words are words number 47 to 56. Don't forget our word for today, word number 57, hada, which means to do. Next word for our review is word number 56, it's kada, which means to go. Next word is poeo, which means what is it? Next word is irim, which means name. Next word is manada, this is a verb which means to meet. Next word is achim, this is a noun which means morning. Next word is sukuhaseyo, and this is used to say, keep up the good work. Next word is tonmaneyo, and this is used to say, you're welcome. Next word is opsoyo, this is used to say, there is no or I don't have. Next word is isoyo, and this is used to say there is, it exists, or I have. And the last word for our review, word number 47, chongmal. This is used to say really or very much. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.
Learn Korean one word at a time. Only here at Day Hangul. Word number 102. Hajima. Hajima. And this is pronounced as a three syllable word. The first syllable is ha, the second syllable is ji, the third syllable is ma. Pronounce it with me. Hajima. Hajima, haji, 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 hajima. Yes, the word hajima is part of the chorus of God 7's song entitled Stop It or Hajima. And as mentioned, the word hajima means don't do it or stop it. And this is more of an imperative phrase or a command. Here is just a little bit of information about the origin of the word hajima. The word hajima is a combination of the word hada and chima. Hada means to do, and chima is a suffix that is used to negate an action. And for this case, the action or the verb that it negates is hada or to do. Therefore, hajima is the same as saying, don't do it. Now, how do we spell Hajima in Hangul? Let's start with the first syllable. To be able to write the first syllable Ha in Hangul, we need to draw first a He character followed by an A character. And then for the second syllable Ji, we need to draw first a Jiat character followed by an E character. And lastly, for the third syllable Ma, we need to draw first a Miyam character followed by an A character. And then, we just have to combine these three syllables to form the hango of the word Hachima. And with that, you've just learned Hachima. Now, let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 92 to 101. But don't forget our word for today, word number 102, Hachima, which means don't do it or stop it. Word number 101 is Tala. This is an adjective which means to be different. Word number 100 is Sonja. And this is the Korean noun for grandchild. Word number 99 is Atul. And this is the Korean noun for son. Word number 98 is Pumo. And this is the Korean noun for parents. Word number 97 is Tal. And this is the Korean noun for daughter. Word number 96 is Ane. And this is the Korean noun for wife. Word number 95 is Nampion. And this is the Korean noun for husband. Word number 94 is Halmoni. And this is the Korean noun for grandma. Word number 93 is harabochi, and this is the Korean noun for grandpa. And the last for our review is word number 92, nugu, and this is used to ask who. Congrats! Korean one word at a time. Only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.